Hello everyone and welcome to the chapter number 10 of Blender Master Course Introduction to Modifiers. Do watch the previous 10 chapters of this course on the link of the playlist in the pinned comment. Now let's come back to Blender and our topic for today to understand is what exactly are the modifiers and what can you do with them. See theoretically modifiers are some sort of codes that apply some algorithm or process to an object and thus the properties and looks of the object changes. But practically speaking modifiers are simply some editing tools which allow you to do things in seconds which might otherwise take you several minutes and also in a much better way. Now to access the modifiers you have to click on this tools icon here and this is the modifier properties editor and by clicking on the add modifier option you can add any modifier from the lists here. So as you can see there are these four categories of modifiers. The first one is the edit modifier, second is generate modifier, then deform modifiers and the fourth is physics modifiers. As for the first group the edit modifiers it basically includes some advanced modifiers which do not affect the shape of your object but rather other data such as vertex groups. But we won't be discussing about them right now at this point because understanding them would require some more concepts to be covered in this course. So we'll be discussing these in some future chapter of this course. And the next two are the main and the most important modifiers in Blender that is the generate and the deform modifiers. The generate modifiers contain a list of these 18 modifiers and we'll be discussing all these in detail in the very next chapter that is chapter number 11. And next the deform modifiers have this list of 16 modifiers which we'll be covering completely in the chapter number 12 of this course. So the upcoming two chapters would be covering a total of 34 modifiers in complete detail. And now the last one is the physics modifiers which include simulations like fluid, clothing, etc. And each one of these topics is so complicated that every modifier has to be covered individually in detail. So we'll be covering all these one by one in our future chapters of this course. But before ending this chapter, let's try to understand what modifiers actually do with the help of an example. So we'll be taking the example of array modifier. For this, go to add modifier, then generate and then array. Or else you can also click on the search menu here, then type array. Although we haven't understood what this array modifier is but we are just gonna use it to see what happens when applying a modifier. So no worries as this modifier as well as all the other modifiers will be covered in complete detail in the next chapters. So let's click on this generate array modifier and we see that a duplicate of this cube is created and that's what this particular modifier does. It allows us to create duplicates of an object in any number which you can change from the count option here. Like if I increase the number the number of duplicates of this object will increase and to make some gap in between the duplicates we can increase this x factor from here and in this way the distance between the duplicates will increase. So with this you can understand how modifiers actually work. While you could have just selected the individual object and duplicated it using the shift plus D shortcut, the much better or quicker way to do this is to use array modifier. Similarly all the other modifiers also do operations which help us to save time and edit the object in a very efficient way. And so that's all in this chapter. Our next chapter is gonna be the chapter number 11 generate modifiers in which we will discuss all the 18 modifiers that are present in the generate modifiers group. So don't don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press that notification bell so that you can get timely updates about the upcoming chapters. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.